Good morning. Let's go down here and make another barn quilt. This is Kathy, Crowder's Mountain, North Carolina. All right, here we go. I've got a fun one today. Look how bright and happy that looks. Now I've got several color schemes over here that I'll show you. I've done this one uh, multiple times for people. And it's called a puzzle star. And it's, it's not hard at all, but it's, it's just a really fun pattern that you can paint using different colors. So you can just choose your colors where I have the teal here and the yellow and then I use the gray for a back, uh, for my border. You can pick out whatever colors you want to that matches your house or your building or inside your living room, whatever. <laughs> but just take a snapshot of that one real quick and then I'm, we're gonna draw the pattern. Okay, here we go. Lay it over here and get it out of the way. All right, I'm using a 24 by 24. And that's what that board was. And I hope you're enjoying these that um, I'm just doing the pattern for you and showing you the finished product first so that you can see which ones you like to try. I hope it's working out for you that one of them, that uh, hummingbird, long star hummingbird, and it got really long, but it was complicated. So I'm trying to do some short ones too that, that doesn't take too long to show you, but that still would be fun. All right, now this one's going to be a little bit different. You know what, I'm going to use my small roller that I already marked. Well, what we need... Now I'm doing mine. I'm doing the one for you like I did mine. I put a two inch border. So I put my ruler, not where the ruler starts, but on the zero. And I'm gonna mark two. Then I'm coming over here to the other side. And I'm gonna put it on two. And I'm gonna mark right at the zero. All right, now the, we have two blocks that needs to be two, three and one fourth inches. So you see I've marked, there's my two inches, but I've marked three and one fourth right here. I think you can see that on that white background. And this one, I'll show you in a minute, but it's six and three-fourths. So I took a permanent marker and just marked that so I wouldn't have to keep going back measuring. So I'm putting my zero on that mark at two inches, and I'm coming over three and one-fourth. I'm going to come over another three and one-fourth. And then I'm coming over six and three fourths. See that? And I'll show you what we're doing in a minute. All right, now I'm going to come back over again. I'm putting my mark at zero and do three and a fourth. And that leaves three and a fourth on this side. All right, let, let me do it again on the other side so you can get it. We're doing two inches. We're coming over here and marking two inches. I'm going back over here to that two inch mark. Putting a tick mark at three and a fourth. Moving over again, putting our zero on the tick mark, 
and doing another three and a fourth. Then this time we'll go put the zero on the tick mark and do six and three fourths. And then putting our ruler on that tick mark and do another three and a fourth. And then this is three and a fourth. Let me just do them all. Because if you get this part, you've got it all. I'm not sure I'm explaining it exactly the easiest way. But mark it at two. Go over to the left side. Mark it at two. Come back to that two. The tick mark at two. And mark it three and a fourth. Another three and a fourth. And then six and three fourths. Go back and mark three and a fourth, and then you got three and a fourth. Two, two, three and a fourth, three and a fourth. Six and three fourths, three and a fourth, and three and a fourth. All right, now we are going to get in the very center of our board. Now I'll get my 24 inch ruler out for that one. And I'm going to get it right on 24. And remember, if your board is not exactly 24, even that ruler up, leaving the same amount on the right as you did on the left so that you can get right in the center of your board and mark 12. We're going to do that again. Measure it up, getting right on the end. See my my paper is not exactly 24, even though I tried to cut it right. That's why the that's the way the saw does when you're cutting the lumber, or you're having it cut. The saw is going to eat part of it. But you know um. Since I've been using that MDO, I tell you, it cuts so much better. Or it's just the lumber company that's cutting mine for me. It's almost right on the money every time. They're, they just really do a good job of cutting it. But then I have heard other people say that MDO does cut a lot better than plywood or anything like that. Okay, so we went in the middle all the way around and put a, put a mark at 12. So now what I want you to do is see the 12, 12 mark, 12. Mm. Can't get my brain straight here. See the, on the 12, yeah, no, let, let me go back to the blocks, because if I don't, I'm going to confuse somebody like me. Let's draw our border off first. All right, we're going to draw the border. Of course, you know you're going to be using something different besides a, a magic marker or a Sharpie or whatever. And I really didn't have to go all the way to the end of this one. Unless you just want to make your, you can make your corners a different color if you wanted to. I just, uh, I didn't because I didn't want it to take away from the pattern. 
Sometimes that happens and sometimes it don't. Trying to stay right on that line. You know, I'm so bad to get off here. Okay. So here we go. Now we've got we've got our border. Now the only thing we have to do, not the only thing, but what we're going to do is connect our tip marks. So just even your ruler up with your tip marks, but don't go on the outside of the border like that. Just stay on the inside. Be a lot less confusing. So we're going to do one, two, And three. We're going to use that 12 inch mark here. Remember the we marked it right in the center. So we're using that 12 inch mark. Here you go. Now all we gotta do is connect these. We're gonna do the same way. We're just lining our tick marks up. We're gonna stay within our picture here, our, uh, our frame, so we don't go over onto that border. If you do, don't worry about it. It's just it's just another line that you'll get rid of. You won't be using it. All right, here you go. There we got it. Now we've got our grid with a two inch border all the way around it. Now let me use this blue one to draw the pattern. So you know how we go block by block. So this block is going to be solid. We'll have a line here. We're going to have a line here. And then we're going to turn it around. And go the other way with these two. And that's the first row. The second row we're going to have a line here. We're going to have another line here. We're going to go back this way. Come back that way. So, left top left down to the bottom right, same way with that line, then we're going to go from the bottom left to the top right, and then back down to the bottom right. And on the fourth block, fifth block, we're going down. So you see, if, if you wanted to, you could have drawn this all at one time, this one all at one time, and cross those at, at the same time. But we're not doing that. We're just going block by block 
for those folks who've never done one before. All right, now we're up on the third line. First block. Draw another line here. We're going here. We're skipping, no. Third one, okay, here, we're not skipping. This way, you see that one? So these two went, this went this way, and these two go that way. And then we're gonna go back down again, from the top to the bottom, and again from the top to the bottom. And on our last one on the third row, we're going back up. So each one of those blocks have something in it. And let's go back down to this second row now. I just I just noticed I missed the block. I bet y'all noticed that too. There you go. Alright, on the third row, fourth row. We're going to draw that one, and we're going this way with that block, going in the middle and drawing. So we went left, right, left, right, down, and then left, left, down to the bottom right, and we're going back. Up from the bottom to the top right. We're going to do this line the same way. And this line. So just go one block at a time and you'll... And we're going back down this one. And up. Going down and down. All right, we're almost finished. This one's blank. one's blank. We'll get this. It's not hard. And you can take snapshots along the screenshots along the way. Here we go with this one. Now, you've got it drawn in. Do y'all want me to kind of color it in a little bit? You go ahead and take a, a screenshot of that. And then I'll get some markers and kind of color it in for you, kind of help you. So you'll have this blank one and you'll have one with a little color in it. Okay, here you go. Let me mark the, what blocks are yellow. So this is going to be yellow and I'm not going to try to like color them in like I did that uh, hummingbird. I just want to give you guys an idea of what where to mark your blocks because you're going to be taping it up. So you're going to have, you skip each one. So yellow, green, and then yellow. Green, and then yellow. 
or teal, whatever color you may be making yours blue and white or or whatever colors you decide that these colors need to be the same to make it look uniform. You know, you can get it too jumbled up and you can't see your pattern if you're not careful. So that's where your yellow will be. And here's where your green. All four corners will be the green. And I'm going to let you take another screenshot. So this one, see that this triangle here. This triangle. This triangle. got a couple more. We've got this one up in the corner here. We've got this one. So it looks like there's a block around your star like a double block. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So it's that second row down, the second block from the right and the second block from the left. And the second row up, second block from the right and second block from the left. Alright, so now you've got that green and the other part of your star will be green. Hope that just gives you more of a visual of if you've never done one of these before of where to color it in. And that's it. And the other blocks, other spaces will be white or light gray. Well, whatever color you feel like you want to use. And take a screenshot of that. And here is this board again. Let you take a screenshot of that one again if you need to. Now the colors that I used were English Daisy, Tantalizing Teal, Pale Blue, and Metropolis. Okay, let me show you. I'm going to move these so that I believe you can see this a little bit better. I want to show you, these are pictures that I've done that same pattern but in different colors. See that was red and black, like a really deep red and black and gray with white. And this one is red with a light gray and white. Actually I think that was like pale bloom or something instead of a bright white. And this one, um, people ask for this one all the time. It's like a deep turquoise with red. And you see the different way I did the blocks with that border? It's the same pattern. You just decide how you're going to drop the color of your blocks in. See, with this one, I colored some of the blocks in. This one, this one, I didn't color those 
diagonal lines in and I just made them white. So I don't know if you can see that, just take a screenshot of those or not. But it, anyway, it'll just give you a different take on it, how you want to paint yours. All right. I hope you enjoyed that and hope you subscribe and hit the like button and leave me a, a comments, any questions in the in the comment section below and I'll try to get them answered for you. See you all in the next video.